but I thought Hollow Man kind of stole the show. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, that for sure. Um, I, I really don't got nothing to see. I didn't watch it, but based by what I was hearing, I heard Hollow Man did good. I'm, I'm one, Hollow Man is one of my favorite Philly battle rappers, and I'm glad that uh, people is like giving him props for his comeback, and he did good. I can't really say anything because I didn't see it, but I appreciate Hollow Man based by what people said that he came with good material. I just want to yeah. Uh, Let's see, I was, I was, you got to do something. Can you get Bugsy? We we want to see Bugsy. I want to see Bugsy. I don't know where he at, but I want to see Bugsy uh, come back. The champion platform is open, man. You know what I'm saying? The Philly artists are more than welcome to champion. So just saying. Sometimes stuff works both ways. Just saying, Jay, Jay, what's going on? Well, why am I even pulling up the champions? That's the question. Well, that's, let's say that's another day. Yeah, I was going to make a point real quick uh, on that card, just just from a battler on that card specifically. Reed, man, I fucking love Reed Dallas, man. But he's been very active this year, and it's good to see. But I'm seeing he's got JC coming up. You know what I'm saying? Beginning of uh, the beginning of October, he just got booked up versus Swamp. They got Tay Rock calling him out, and I just hope while it's cool that Reed, like, I love that it's a legend still getting the big plates and stuff. But man, that is a lot. And if Reed just keeps getting booked back to back, especially after losing to Un P. I just don't think he's got it in the tank to be taking this many battles like that. So I hope to see not not him not getting these plates or whatever, but like spacing out the looks. Because if we're getting performances like these against Pass and uh, and Un P, I could only imagine what I'm going to see versus then Tay Rock. You know what I'm saying? And let alone JC Swamp. So I hope that Reed slows up the book in a little bit because it's not it's not really doing good by him as time's going on. David, can I, let me just add to the blackout. Say that again, please. What we decide to do with Blackout? I know other than uh, Geechee and Hollowhand and Nitty and Ill, man. I got it. What I wanted to do, I feel like y'all disagree with, is that um, we do quick predictions as the matches are announced. Okay. Yeah, that's dope. But y'all okay. said no. Y'all said no because it's too short. It's too short of a time. Like, yeah, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I'm not with that. I mean, if y'all want to do that and I'm ruled out, that's fine. But I don't know. you out. Because I, I get it, you need time to analyze what's going on. You can't just ten seconds. Who you got? That's basically you're saying, right? Yeah, nah. There's so many variables, <laughs> right? Like it's just so many things. <laughs> I like. I, I, I mean, if you I scared, just say that line. You scared of losing your position? It's like it's like it's like it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like uh, the ten second pressure making. He's literally got the I like that. Yo, Lang Lux is crazy. No, 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 no. It ain't got nothing to do with that. It's like, it's. I, I compare this to one round is right? Because it's like, there's no real strategy into one round is for real. Like, you just go in there and hopefully if you go second, you win. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is another situation where, like, they announce a battle and then I just got to pick one in thin air. And it's just like, I don't, I ain't with that. But, like I said, it's majority rule. If y'all want to do that, that's fine. I'll just have to suck it up. But, pause if necessary. No, but, that makes sense. Because, um, like, like, that like, was I think wild, you- Lang. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause. I said pause. Shit. Hold on. Forget the pause stuff. Blank. I think you can appreciate this too. When you're collecting who won what and what people said their predictions, y'all don't really y'all put it in a y'all put it in a champion goal. Y'all put it in the uh the sometimes in the in the spaces or y'all put it in the um in a group chat. So I how I, I don't think we're on the one accord to even do what I just said. To be honest, y'all are not gonna be there. They're not gonna be watching at the same time. You know what I'm saying? It's like we're all moving in unison. It's not what's happening. It's kind of hard to even pull it off, to be honest. Yeah, like I, 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 truthfully, I truthfully, I feel like we could just do the one off with like, or if you guys want to also include Geechee and Hollahan in there, we could do like two of those, and then yeah, the two main events. Uh, but we yeah. got at this point, we're, listen, we're in September. We got about basically two months left, two and a half months left. We need more uh, predictions. And let's not let's not actually, you know, what I'm saying. You know, like let's let's Tito, you trying to run off with the bag, man. I see you. What, you trying what, to run, run off, off with the bag. Run off? No, yeah, to you got a you got a good gap. I'm trying I'm, I'm about to smoke. Hey yo. <laughs> what? You good? What? He got a good gap. What's wrong with you, my man? Oh, that was crazy. I will All right, man, Paul uh I mean you, you you got pause, man. But anyway, but anyways, but anyways, anyway. yeah, you got a, you got, a, you got a, you got a margin. You got a margin. 
Let's just say that, you know, but Look, you're trying to run I'm away. Saying, all I'm saying is I'm not ducking nothing, nobody, nowhere, no how. If I'm going to win this, I'm going to make sure y'all know that I won that. That's what I want. Because okay, I'm okay. talking hell of shit. I'm, I'm, well, I'm going to let you know that I'm on your bumper, pause. Hey, my, mm. oh my God. You good, Sulla? Yeah, anyway, great. anyway, I'm anyway, great. anyway, anyway, I'm great. So well, whatever, bright, whatever people want to do, I'm with it. On the bright side, I think we've actually had more predictions with, with going into the last quarter than we did the overall year last year. So, because we're already at like thirty plus uh, picks right now, and uh, just so, just just to broadcast it, I'm not gonna do too much, but I think Tito has like a eighty. He's like an eighty percent in terms of like, or yeah, he's batting at eighty percent. You know, what I'm saying for for accuracy, and I think the rest of us are either uh, above five hundred. You know, what I'm saying so. I think that all of us are relatively accurate to a degree. Um, but no, there is, there's most definitely a lot of work to be done to catch up to Mr. Tito up there, but trust me, adjustments going to be made very soon in this last quarter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like it. Hey, is I this got a, a face off? Hold on. It's like a face off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a face yeah. off. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. You sound like a bum. Don't do no, that. That's not even a face off because because I'm tied. No. Like I think I think like four of us are all tied with the same amount of uh picks. I think like Tito sits at like I want to say eighty percent. I want to say I guess Norm sits at like sixty eight percent. Um, myself, Smo, uh, Britt, and a couple other people were sitting at like sixty six percent. And then everybody else is like pretty much at five hundred or like a little bit above five hundred. So, yeah. In case people want to, in case people want to, in case people want to, right? We're not gonna do that. But in case people wanted to know, you know, just our just our credibility, you know what I'm saying? We're pretty accurate with these predictions a little bit. So, I mean, it's a reason why they call us the executive suite. That's just it. We know what we we, we kind of know what we're doing. But uh, I got a question though. This is a little bit off topic. A little bit off topic. Y'all only could pick one though. Would y'all rather see as of right now, Hitman Lux, Hitman uh, Twerk? Here we go. Or Hitman and Geechee? Honestly, that, that I feel dropping boss. Was in the equation, but twerk. I'd rather hit. I want to see Geechee. I want to see Hitman and Geechee. So in my humble opinion, I feel like Hitman and Geechee would be the more competitive battle because if Hitman stands in front of Twerk, he's going to hell. He's not. It's not happening. I'm sorry. All right. Hit, hit, Hitman ain't... I don't think Hitman has right. ever been to hell. That's the thing, so... Easy to block out. Hey, well, but, well, 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 but listen, but listen, let me put let me, let me let me make it more clear. Let me make it more clear for you. I don't think Hitman wins any of those three battles. I don't think he's competitive in any of those three battles. Oh, and yeah. I don't he think don't he survives any of those three battles. Uh, I don't know. I kind of disagree on I'm like to say you bug him. Yeah, he won. Especially especially Lux. Yes. I could see him beating Lux. I could see him beating Lux. Back off, Jay Black. Back How? off. Back off, Jay and, Black. And what, Man, y'all but, get no, 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 no. And what? No, no, no. Black, I got these niggas. In what? In what way, shape, or form is he gonna beat Lux? And what? Shape, in which part? In what shape, or form? In, which, in, in, what part? In, what, in what shape or form is Lux gonna beat him? That's the thing. What, how, what do you have him doing better than Lux? A lot. Like such as like cadence, delivery, performance, like angles, like. Oh, you mean performance? Like, 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 like you know, you gonna get this work. Or, or, or stay Cadence is kind of crazy. I'm not. Those we don't gotta okay. add yeah, those outside of either way. Come Cadence on, is kind of insane, though. I ain't gonna lie, to man. Lux ain't gonna do shows. He gonna get up there and rap fantastic. Not, 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 what the fuck not, are you talking about? Lux Cadence is cool. It's just like sometimes it just don't be like. Oh, you mean that? You mean you mean you mean that it's not the same Cadence from 2015 that Hitman's using? What are you talking Still. about? Hitman, the same cadence. Hitman has been evolving with his craft. You know that, right? He doesn't sound the same as he did in 2015. You know that. Yes, he does. No, he yes, he and does. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. All right, bro. Like Lux is. You about to you about to really make me go split screen 2015 uh, Hitman holler. 
2023 Hitman Hollow and, and give you the same, same flow and, the, and, and, and cadence. It's not the same. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I'm I, I don't think Hitman sounds the same. But to answer to, to directly answer the question though, um, I'm more inclined to see uh, Hitman. And uh, twerk on a big stage. I think it's just a lot, a mm-hmm. lot of okay. battle. But me personally, like I, I'm very big on like two people battle. Even though you know, right? They're they're well balanced battlers. They're, they're they're great in so many other compartments of battle rap. But I think those are two of the best performers of all time. And I just want to see that clash. I want to see how explosive it can be. So I'm more inclined to see that battle. Now, in terms of, I thought the direction you were gonna go is like, who do we want to see Lux to battle um, in, in the next upcoming? Yeah, I was I, I was I was but, gonna go that direction. I was gonna tie that on, uh, tie that along. But uh, but I, I but I would say this, just spe- just specifically talking about Lux and Hitman Hollow, right? Would y'all rather prefer that to be in a small room or a or, or big stage? The, the, a small room. Yeah. The, if, if the battle is gonna happen, you know what I'm saying, and it's not a bad battle by any means, I think it's best in the small room. One, Lux is like gonna benefit greatly from that room. Yes. Like Lux is gonna yes. do great in that room, and then Hitman's proven to do great. And I know that he is um the best performer ever. I feel like that's kind of a clear number one answer. Uh, but even as you get like, I feel like deeper into battle rap, and you got so many new guys. You know what I'm saying? The way that Twerk raps up there and what he does on the stage, plus the wordplay, I honestly feel like Hitman might end up being just better at a small in a small room at this point in his career. That's no slight or saying that he can't be great on the big stage. But this like smaller rooms volumes, these are very vet friendly. All these vets that have been doing good recently, Verb, he battled in two I basically agree. you know volume blue room styles type rooms. Goods, we were all worried about Goods after seeing him on the stage. He just looked great versus Cal. Um, Cal looking good in a small room after after like Gnome Impact being a little bit strange, like. At the end of the day, battle rap is kind of going to be more like universal and easier to be great in a small room. So for any of these vets, like especially one like that where it's kind of like two, um, you know, older level vets battling that have been here for a long time, it's going to be. I don't. I think it could possibly be bad on the stage. I'd be a little bit worried if I found out it was on a big stage. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not opposed to it being in a small room as well, especially after Hitman's performance against Ill Will, and I and I and I've been I've been. Outside of the surf battle, I've been just waiting to see Lux back in a in a small room too. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I agree. I think I think right now, man, uh, Hitman Holla with the blue room situation, like because his last three battles prior to that, his material is kind of iffy. But nobody has no complaints with what Hitman Holla did against Ill Will in the blue room. And then, we, I can't. My opinion, I think Loaded Lux. Is better in a small room than a big room, like on a big uh, on a big stage, because the way he writes, not everybody can cat, not everybody can catch everything that Loaded Lux is saying in the big room. You got you have to go back home and probably rewatch it again. It's like I'm not saying this person is better than Lux, but he he's not on the same level as of. And I kind of agree with what Surf had said. Surf said JC is a blend, is a perfect blend between good writing, but it's simple enough to catch it right on the spot on the stage, on the big stage. I don't think Lux have mastered that, like have, have mastered that yet at this currently. So I think it'd be more of a battle against Hitman Holla if it was in a small room. No, nah, I ain't gonna lie. Lux is very catchable. You can catch that show on the first watch. People overthink his little pin and all of that. It's very catchable. Sometimes it's just not good. That that that's how life works. No, nah, man. I, I know that there's a lot of uh there's a lot of right now kind of being down on Lux is a is a is a big topic. I understand that, and that's because of you know a lot of the matchup talk. But whether it's um people talk about who uh, Lux or Hitman should battle next, there's just one thing I want to say, uh, kind of pertaining to RB since um in a Hitman Lux situation, right, we'd assume that we'll probably go down to RBE, is that something that's made RBE so great this year uh, with these big God tier bookings is I'm seeing real God tiers be given to the people that have kind of earned it and really wouldn't always be the biggest brands. I mean, we've got Ill Will versus 
uh, Hollow and Hitman finally. I remember being in this space uh, about a year ago, you know what I'm saying, when we was doing this. I asked for Ill Will and Hitman. People were like, we don't really need that. Like, what? Like, they're, like, they're acting crazy to me. Um, Big K getting put in big spots, you know what I'm saying, versus Murder Mook. Even A Verb finally taking one of his grudge matches in A Ward. So, while Lux versus Hitman is like a crazy brand thing, what's made RBE, I think, really great this year, uh, particularly in the Blue Room, is it's given real hungry guys that have earned a God tier shot that shot it's it's booking battles that really kind of are based on style so i know there's just a lot of talking no matter who they end up booking i just hope that we don't while looking at, at those numbers we don't completely forget why has what has been the highlights of battle rap this year it's been ill will getting that shot versus hitman in the small room you know what i'm saying it's been a ward getting that shot versus verb and so on and so forth even easy and hitman so i you know old, the old matchups are good but does that really change anything the outcome i don't know so I was gonna ask. We have a we have a major because I think one of our things is just like we wanted Lux to go against Nitty. Like a, ma a mass majority of us did, just because we want to see that pin on pin collision, right? But we actually have a pin on pin collision coming up soon, and that's Ilmac versus Rum Nitty. And I wanted to propose to the chat: um, Should we do a? Can we do a compendium? Uh, you know, for Ilmac and Nitty. Um, you know, we can I don't want nobody to disrespect Elmex. I feel like it just takes a few. You got to know his work. You got to for sure know his work. For we sure. know his work. So if you don't that's know his work, do not fill it out, please. No, I, I, that's kind of why I'm kind of like, nah, we good. Because I don't, I don't, respectfully, I don't know if everybody has, has been uh, exposed to Elmex catalog. And I don't, it's going to look crazy. I, I know it's going to look crazy. Like, it's just. That's what I'm yeah. saying. That's what I'm saying. Unfortunately. This, this, is what I, this is what I propose. I say we do it, but just give it to a select few. That's it. Black, can you just DM <laughs> them people the survey for that one? Then? <laughs> uh, yeah, like imagine with Dutch still here. I was gonna say Dutch. <laughs> Dutch, you be like 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, yeah, so I, I say we should. Uh, yeah, if we should get it done, I'll just DM it to a few people. So probably based off like six, five, six people. Just so compendium is you got to really. Ao three, Ao three. You you want you want to fill one out though? Three. I want to see what three things. Uh, and I know what you said after the easy and our Geechee event Chrome yeah. event. Yeah, then we're gonna we're gonna touch on the two K ratings for uh actually exactly. that involved Ilmac too. We're supposed to touch on the two K yeah. rating it's for Ilmac, 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 Ilmac. Ilmac, and then we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna it's gonna I got this new thing called coming an executive decision. So it's not gonna be like oh we gotta decide this. We're gonna just give it to the executives to make. So if you go to the champion goal, there's gonna be a list of people and y'all's gonna pick them and we write on it. Like we're not wasting more time with this. The more time we wait, we lose momentum because I feel like the uh, first four two K ratings got a very good impact. And that's like, what, month a month ago, two months ago? So we got to get this done consistently as possible. So you probably should see that in the chat um, tomorrow, the final pick for the other two spots. And I feel like people were saying Jazz. They were saying, who else? Who else were y'all saying? We said, uh, we were saying Jazz. We said, Miss, uh, we said C3 on the lady side. And I think on the male side, we uh we mentioned Mike P because he because he's supposed to be like an intermediate, you know what I'm saying? In terms of like the difference between like, you know, like uh someone that's of like the the top five ish era or like of a higher stature than someone that's like really good but maybe not on that echelon or whatever. So I know we we're just trying to build a baseline from there. Um, but I do think that like Ilmac and Ehart are the last two like great ones to do, and then we can kind of work on the the baseline from there after that. And uh, dropping Friday at 1 p.m. Uh, Sue Surf Magnum Opus, y'all. So get, get ready for that. Hope you all enjoy this one. I found old interviews and stuff like that. So I like it's a little more personal than the Hitman Hollow one. So just stay tuned for that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, real quick, one question. Because I was all, because like when you interviewed him after Gun Titles won, mm -hmm. where was that concert at? Because I, I know you. Oh, okay. 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 It was in Philly. It was in Philly? I thought it was. It was. That's why I pulled up. I'm like, yo, you right there? Say less. And the double impact just happened? Oh, I pulled up. Say less. Number one, two, one, two. And yeah, so that, and that's, that's part of it, too. 
So good thing you asked that because that's definitely a part of it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we got, I guess, we had exclusive music from him. I feel like he had tracks in that interview that he never dropped. So <sighs> just stay tuned for that. And again, with the executive decision, y'all can just pick who's next. I can tell you who I want, what, what Emmanuel said I want to do, but out of a list of names, y'all can just pick. And what I'm going to do moving forward, after these three covers drop, y'all pick who's on the covers as well. In the in the cover hoodies that you had, those are those for sale or were you like what's up with that? <laughs> what I no, I mean I for real, never, like, I will buy I will buy one or I'll buy a couple actually. I would never sell uh that that's why I say one for one. That passe hoodie is just something I really want to do because I'm actually arguing myself whether I want to go to Toronto or not. Because again, I told Geechee, I said Geechee, um, I've been everywhere. People saying you didn't go to that event, like stop playing. I've been to I've been to events in Philly, I've been to events in New York, I've been to events in LA. I've been to events in Chicago. I've been all over the place. But one place I've never went to and never got that experience was King of the Dot in Toronto. I've been to King of the Dot in Boston. I've never been to, a, in their essence, at Toronto. I've never been to Toronto. Yeah. So that's kind of what I want to experience. So I feel like if I go, that hoodie is perfect for me. Yeah. And I feel like and, yeah. and I feel like an L Mac return is the perfect event. Yeah. In Hollahan, yeah. too. Like, I really went through the state forever, to be honest. That's really why, you know what I mean? Yeah, and this, and isn't this like um, EK's last battle on his little re- uh, retirement tour? Uh, it's in battle so they retire a lot. I want to see if he lives up to it. Yeah, I think he has. A, I think he has a battle after because uh, Blackout's the thirtieth. I think he has a battle after that, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Um, I got a question. I got a question. So with EK, right? He has a whole bunch of three rounds dropping. Again, he dropped that trailer, and he has six battles that's already pre-recorded that's dropping week after week after week after week. Mm-hmm. Plus, he got battles that's gonna that's happening now as well. Mm-hmm. How y'all evaluating that? Well, okay, so it'll be interesting because I remember France said one of the battles were edited or whatever, where he had like a situation where he slipped up or whatever. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be some information that we'll need to know. Um, I don't, I don't know how that, do that wasn't the A word battle, right? Because I know about that already. I think that no, I think that yeah, was the A word battle. Was A-word. Um, yeah, yeah, so it's that battle, and then if I'm not mistaken, he's he's battled Marv One, he's battled Geechee. I have to, I, I don't, I have to find the footage of the Geechee yeah. battle, disaster, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So he has one round with JC, so he has a lot of work. Um, but I think have you like, do you know if he dropped him versus Geechee on YouTube yet? Because I couldn't find well, the footage. I think he will. I think he will. I think he took control of the footage and he's gonna drop it on his own. Oh, because that that battle happened mm-hmm. like at the, damn near at the top of the year, so. I mean, he at this point he's 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 the one that like controls his own campaign, in my opinion. If he's not dropping the battles and we don't have the time to like really break down and assess the footage, or whatever, then I don't know. But he has a, a lot of good work out there. You know, I would have wished that him and JC was a three round battle that would have helped out tremendously. Yeah, um, would have. But I, I but he has a lot of good work against you know some some solid names out there. So, but hopefully he released it in a timely fashion where we can actually do our due diligence, give him his credit for it, and uh, you know hopefully we will see where he uh. If he if he you know makes a case for himself, come to the panel. All right. Okay. What else we got to discuss before we head on out, man? Uh, did you kind of want to just give your disclaimer on champion of the year again, pertaining to like the new rules, regulations, what battlers have to look for, prepare for, and all that? What's the point if they don't listen to me? They're gonna listen to somebody that's lying on me, man. I, I do it anyway, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Real fast, if you don't know, and I said this in an upcoming interview that I'm putting out, um, you need four battles to be considered for champion of the year. You need four. 1v1, three-round battles. You need four. Not not two 1v1 battles and then uh, two one two in the one round. No. No, no, no. Again, to be considered, you need four 1v1, three-round battles for champion of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, no one has won champion year with three battles. So I feel like at this point, it's kind of pointless to say, yeah, man, oh, he did three crazy battles. And it's like, Sue Surf was the closest. You got to think Sue Surf dominated all his battles that he was in for those three. He didn't even, he, he, made, he didn't make top two. He's number three with three battles. So it's like, at that point, it seemed like it's impossible. Unless you get Murder Mook, Lux, and, and you battle Jesus. So Murder Mook, Lux, and Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So that's not going to happen. Um... What else? The criteria. 
for the most part, it's been the same this entire time. We haven't really changed it. And the only change we might make is take moments out to have a better discourse, a better dialogue, pardon me, uh, during a panel. So on top of that, too, for the panel, it's changing. So a lot of people saying, oh, this we don't like this, we don't like that, whatever it is, this person saying that. Cool. Don't worry about that. The panel is changing. We're having new people in. If Again, if this person says yes, no, you know what I'm saying? We're reaching out to certain people. If they say no, I might still be a part of the panel. I'm trying to moderate this time instead. So, again, you might have an entirely new panel with the exception of one person or one or two people. You know what I mean? So just look to what we do. Again, people, a lot of people talk, but they don't they don't watch what we do. One thing about Geechee is that Geechee watches. Geechee understands the process. He knows what to what to do. He strategizes it. Pay attention to what he's doing now. He knows what award he's going for and everything. If I don't win the belt, he knows what he's doing. This is the strategy. And MCs do not listen. You know what I mean? Take the cheers. Take the fans. But a lot of people saying, yo, you won already. That is the dumbest advice. Oh, you got to do the more you won already. Who says who? Is the person telling you that? Did they ever donate to champion year? Do they, have, did, 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 did they know the rules, regulations? That's literally the dumb advice. I tweeted a couple, a couple minutes ago. My advice is keep battling. Do not stop. Do not stop because when we got to catalog your work and you did this, you did that, we look at everything. Don't let them lie to you. Oh, if he doesn't win it, I don't want to hear that. We go through the work. And we, we're not going to be pressured to, to do this or do that. If you're the best, you'll be crowned the best. Simple as that. That's not going to work over here. With all due respect. But yeah, that's how I got it. Uh, shot at Tito again. He was on champion. Did a great job. We got a few more dropping with him, I think. Uh, four more episodes. I still got one in the tuck, believe it or not, with you, Lane. We got another one with, uh, I think, the top six, the Crucible. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. The I, I did that did that's going to drop as well. So, we got one with you. I got four more with Tito. Um, Salute. Anything else? You can't be the only one Well, today again, the boss, you, you kind of robotic. Am I the oh, only one that hears no. it like that? Yeah, she, oh, she sounds like Iron Woman. No, no, girl, you, uh, you, uh, you calling the Autobots right now? Yeah. No, nah, but I was also going to say to your point, Black, like, I do think that, like, battlers should keep battling, but they also should be mindful of the battles they are taking. Yes. Um, and they also should be mindful of, like, even though it's a, it's holistic, right? So, like, it's the overall year, be mindful specifically of the fourth quarter because that's one of the last few things we remember. Like, how did you close out or whatever? Um, Did you battle out of you – know, did you battle yourself out of winning? You know what I'm saying? I'll point to one example, you know what I'm saying, and I think he had a good year. But I could point to JC, right? JC, you know what I'm saying, had good battles all year 2017. Uh, then after that, he took uh, after the Rumnity battle, which was like you know like the the cli the climax of his year, like the the peak of his year, right? He took T Top after that. He took Twerk after that, and you can argue those two battles in that last quarter are one of the, are the couple of things that kind of bumped him from one to end up being in like four or five, if I'm not mistaken. So oh, also right. just be mindful, uh, you know, just he how you close up. Versus Twerk though, Twerk was just Twerk. Well, yeah, for sure. But like, but imagine if he didn't take the T top battle and he just spaced out him and him and Nitty going into like him and Twerk in that last battle in that last event in December. You know? Yeah, yeah, the T top battle for sure. Yeah, I agree. Here's the here's the scary part though. Like you gotta think, right? So, and again, I don't think you should take this strategy. I feel like all of you guys should be warriors and take the toughest fights and make it make sense. But what if somebody's trying to be safe? What if somebody knows I'm in this position? Like, okay, uh, soon speaking on JC. JC didn't have to battle surf. Can he took somebody else? Correct. He could have took somebody else and then dot battle hustle and took somebody else and then oh he might have been in a great position. But I feel like he gambled. You take surf and you beat surf. Oh, this shit is yours. We're gonna fall back. Like like we can have we can have a debate, whatever it is, but it's like he took the gamble. He needed that lost. big plate for strength of schedule though at the time. I mean, because he did have a good year leading up to them, but that yeah. was gonna really be there's a reason it was the crown jewels because it was by far the most solidified oh, yeah, opponent yeah, that he yeah. had that you not to say he didn't battle good ops that year, but it's a jump from Sharon to O Red, you know, respect even Swamp and then Surf. So he needed the plate, you know what I'm saying? But it's I, I hear where you come from I, as I well. I agree, but also I, I, I agree, but I feel like also that means you, you also won a tournament. You know what I'm saying? So again, he could have stat pad a little bit, but I but I agree with you too. I agree with you too. He need he needed more names because people felt like your swamp had the better 
such and such. Like you, you, you y'all neck and neck or whatever. You're about to battle, but Swamp had a, the most difficult road. That makes sense. So yeah. like, this is a strategy. Think. Don't you go on Twitter and say, "Yo, this person said I won." You get three months left. <laughs> you look at me like, no, I'm just telling you what it is. And this goes for everybody because everybody getting tweets like this. I got a tweet that Tay Rock's already won. I got a tweet that Big Carrot won. I got a tweet recently that said, "Easy still there." Y'all gotta understand, y'all have fans. And when we sit down, we're fans of battle rap, not you. Uh-huh. When we do the panel, we're fans of battle rap, the whole culture, not you. We're not on your side. We're not team A, B, C, D, E. We're not none of y'all teams. That top five look kind of crazy because Geechee fourth quarter is looking insane right now. I ain't gonna hold you. And Nitty been having a slip on year too. That that top ten might be a little crazy for y'all That's for why Cody. Like keep battling, bro. Y'all don't know. The top what's ten is happen. really crazy. Y'all don't know what's gonna happen, man. I, I, I mean, I I'm gonna bring people. it up because I know it, it hurts Lang. Y'all know that Ill Will still isn't eligible. It will only got three battles. I thought yeah. I brought this up. I brought this up on Champion. I think. That's crazy. He needs one more. There's one more. Man, he can battle whoever. Yo, Tito, Tito, Tito. Did, did I say this on camera or did I, did I say it off camera? I think you said it. I could be wrong, but you might have. I think you said it off Yeah, camera. I can't hear Tito. Hold on. You got you to gotta fix that. But if I said it on camera, I'll say it here too. Jazz t- tweeted like, yo, y'all keep saying who the champion of the year. It's a person y'all don't even look at. Don't even think of. And it's like, what I said was, um, what if everybody gets bloody? What if Big Kid gets bloody? What if Twerk gets bloody? What if, uh, uh, who else? Nitty gets bloody. Easy, with all respect, he got bloody, right? And then Ill Will, he battled Hollow. You know what I'm saying? He battled Hitman. He battled King Los, and the RB does a max out for end of the year. And then he battles, you know, create another net. Well, let's say he get Lux. Fuck, he get Lux. Or Verb. Or, or Verb. His shit is perfect. Anything's possible, bro. That's all I'm saying. I'm not gonna so if y'all bloody, if all of y'all bloody, he looks perfect. I don't know, man. <laughs> Just saying. He won performance tonight, right? No matter what I think. No matter what anybody else thinks. All right. Tonight. We're not doing that. I'm just yeah. saying. He won performance tonight. That's, what, that's the official stuff, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I know about you. I know about you, buddy. <laughs> I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, for sure. I'm just saying, man. That's how I got it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think Y'all are horrible say... people. I just wanted to say that. Oh, let me get the boss back up here. What, what I do? What what, what, what I do? What, what do we do, Dutch? Go ahead, lie on us. No, man, y- y'all good. I'm gonna let y'all rock right now. I ain't even gonna do it to y'all. Yeah, Cause you can't. Oh, I could. It couldn't do I nothing. Could, with but you know what? Yeah, we we very sharp up in here. I, to- I, I, I told things. myself. Very sharp. I, I told things. myself I wasn't even gonna argue with y'all niggas today, and I think I've been very good. I think I've been very consistent to my maturity and growth, and not arguing this, this with y'all. Is not what you want? This is not what you want. I mean, I just, I just hope you continue on your journey of personal, of personal growth, and I hope you get whatever you want, brother you know what man. That's what I, hope. I, I, I think I've I been. Hope you, I hope you live a long, healthy life. I bro. think I've been very, you know, what I mean, mature today because I could, I could, I could have went a whole different direction, but I chose. You could, man, I chose man. peace. With all due respect, I you chose peace. Have done. I want to see you do that. I respect. chose peace. You know what I'm saying? Okay, can I, can I ask, can I ask a, can I ask a question real of quick? Of course you can. It's your right. role play. It's, it's. it's, it's it's a it's it's a it's a half serious question. So Ilmac Ilmac said he got another rap off in the tug. When that come out, like, can we do that? Like, <laughs> oh sure, why not? Fuck it. That's, them shits are fire. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm gonna say this now. We still in champion when we uh did these rap off joints, um, the cartoon joints. The 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 goal was to break it down seriously and Absolutely. don't laugh. Yeah, you gotta not not. You gotta have I'm a straight not, face. Now, if we, if we do that, if you want, I'll pull up again and do the most serious, dead ass recap of all. T- like I'm ready. If you if you laugh, you lose. Oh, of course. <laughs> if you laugh, you lose. I'm a really I'm gonna break, break, break it down like it's it, like it's Mook, <laughs> like like Mook rapping, and and it, like like it's beat out in Saga. That's how I'm gonna break it down. That's a bit. I'm telling you, it's hilarious, man. Yeah. Oh, y'all, man. Who y'all, you, you got, y'all got PB and J winning. Like who y'all got? Like. Hold on, hold on. Shout out to, uh, shout out to Dutch. Uh, NLE Chopper says Geechee guy's a goat. Uh, That's tough. I uh, saw NLE Chopper on the um, MTV Music Awards doing that bum ass hard call him shit. Y'all better leave me alone. You win, you win, you win, you win this. You win this. You win this. You win this. My fault. Yeah, I, I also wanted to give. Uh, I, we don't got to talk about it because it's not for a minute. But I see that bullpen's working as always. 
they dropped a, a, a big card coming. I believe it's uh, – I forgot the name of it, but I know it's John John and 40 headlining. It's called Pendemonium. Pendemonium, oh, they, Pendemonium oh, the pen, October the pen 14th. Stuff. I love it. Pendemonium, October 14th. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. John John and 40 Boys is the headliner for that. Clips that's what I wanted to – I was a little – These these are three rounds, correct? I, I was a little yes. worried about All right, we can, we can put those up trends here. going into the second half of the year after such a strong start. I felt like things got, you know, really quiet for a minute. Um, kind of the way that he talked on a, a few battles, like big matchups, not or not happening, motivation. But I love to see that, you know, he, no matter how we feel about Clips right now, Clips is a big look. Clips is a legacy look. So I'd love to see him just next to those name, top tier names battling. And hopefully we can get another look in there because Chef Trez is uh, – I'll say it. I said it before. I'll say it again. It's probably the best year of his career. Um, it's a top tier level year, and I hope that you know by the end of the by the end of the year that'll get appreciated because I, I love the work that Chef Trez has been doing in twenty twenty three. Hey Schmo, let me tell you my problem with this battle. Right, my problem, my problem. Absolutely, it's hundred percent Charlie Clips. But my problem with this battle is in a year where Trez is having probably the best year of his career. Charlie Clips is going to go in there and fuck, fuck this the footage up. up. It is possible. Gonna look, he's going to fuck it up, and it's going to look bad. And I fear, I fear the panel will, will hold that against Chef Trez. Because, like I said, Clips has a way of just making you look bad in a bad win. He, like, he just, I, and I fear that for Chef Trez, man. I really do. But, but he's also is there a battle <laughs> where two, um, two quote unquote freestyle rebuttalers went against each other and it turned out to be like a classic battle? DNA and Trez. I don't know if it's classic, but DNA and Trez back in the Trez day was an amazing Sharon. battle. Trez and, and Sharon. But, but, but it's rare. I mean, like, when we go in. Trez and Sharon, that's when they did like the, th- right. the fourth round of just all rebuttals or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And if Sharon had one before that, too. Hmm? What? Oh, no, I'm talking to my man. Oh, but yeah, no, I think I, I hear where the boss is coming from. I don't like when we're when we go in and, and I see people being like, oh, uh, like it's who's gonna freestyle the best. I don't really want to see that shit. Like with the freestyling part of it, I want to see mm-hmm. the battle. I want to see you guys right. I want to see some rebuttals at the top of your round. But I'm not gonna be like, oh, I, I came here just to see freestyle. Let's be real. I never go into a battle just to see freestyle. We in a whole new year, man. Yep. That's not how that works. So I, I'm hoping though. You see, the thing about clips is right when I be like, nah, this is it. He's done for. He turn around and he go, you know what I'm saying? He brings a great version of himself. Like, I thought, we all thought leading up in the rows, like, he gave the Danny performance. God damn. God damn. And then the jazz performance was what it was. You get in a rows, all of a sudden, that's great. So I'm hoping that, listen, it's weird with clips, but I'm hoping that going into this battle, he takes it serious because a lot of people seem to respect uh, Chef Trez as a peer. A lot of the battlers give ultra respect to Chef's name when it comes up. And I hope that clips has that same outlook because this could be a great battle. As well as John John of Forty, could be a good Charlie point. Clips. Charlie Clips does not care about battle rap. Uh, but shout out to Trez though, and he he also had a battle just recently released. It happened like a couple months ago, but him and Shotty P just recently released, so they can add that to his resume. Shout out to Bar Wars for that battle. Um, I heard I just, him and Clone. I, I haven't. Him and Clone I, was I haven't fire. To see. I don't think it's dropped, but I heard him and Clone was a good ass battle. Everyone that's watched it says good. Yeah. So you talking about Chef Trez yeah, and Clone, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. So he's picking up his activity, and you know, that's a great thing to see because, yeah, he did have a great start with him and John John, him and Twerk, even him and Jack Boy in the one rounder was pretty entertaining, you know what I'm saying? Him and Show Off. So he's pick. I think he's ending on a strong note, and, that, and that's a lot of battles. That's what a lot of battlers have to do to, you know, kind of make a case for themselves going into the back end of the year. Charlie Clips does not care about battle rap. So when did we decide? Did we vote on um, language? You the only one against the uh, in the moment thing for blackout? Uh, well, I mean, like I said, it's pretty much up to you guys. I mean, like Black was saying that, like, um, he doesn't even feel like we could be in unison. You know, what I'm saying in terms of, like everybody putting their predictions in at the right time or like right before the battle starts or whatever. Like he doesn't even feel like it would like the numbers will even match up. Uh, properly, but if you guys want to do that, we can we can do it. I say it sound like you run up a skirt of your little record. I ain't gonna hold Charlie it. Clips does not care about battle rap. I mean, like I said, we can we can do it, but like, are we gonna do it for every battle though? Every, every battle? No, no, no. I'm about to say, yeah, I feel like is we'll know a battle if a matchup happened and we know we ain't, it ain't. You know what I'm saying? But that's their thing. It's just it's like a split. It'll be like spur of the moment. You know, I, like, so you like, just want to do the two headlines. I agree with Lang. 
No, I, I'm not mad at it, but I'm saying like, well, I'm saying like again, we don't know the matchups. Like, like we don't know if like a matchup is gonna be like, oh, that's a that's a little boy type situation. It could be like, you know. But if y'all want to do it, like I said, so we just gonna I'm do the two right, 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 that we know. I'm trying to, do, I'm trying to debunk the consistency it. of it. I'm telling you. Like I'm, I'm not because I'm, I'm trying to debunk the fact that y'all, y'all saying I'm ducking. I don't duck nothing. I'm just saying that because uh, I'm being, I'm being for real. I'm just saying I'm not. I don't duck nothing. I, I'll always predict, you know. But I'm just saying like, yeah, it's no real strategy going into it. No, like, I'm I, just I, giving I, you a hard time. But I'm just saying. So we, so we only doing Geechee and um Hollahan and and Nitty and Ilmac. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's what you let him in. How you What's doing? What's going sir? on, sir? What's going on, brother? What's going on, boss? Just, just, just tap right here. Right. Right. Ray, what's good with Ray, you? Man. I'm with you. I got Chef Tress 2 1 clear over Charlie Clips, man. Charlie Claire. Clips does not care about yeah, that. I, I think we all going to go with Chef. I think we all going to go with Chef. This is first time on Bullpen in a while, too, if I'm not mistaken. Charlie Clips does not care about <laughs> battle rap. Man. I think the last time was ver did he have something after Farrah Lane? Who Trez? No, Clips. Oh, well, yeah. so, I don't remember. I don't, well, I, when, when, when was the last time Clips was on uh, bullpen? I know he he battled Riggs. He battled. I don't remember. I know Trez hasn't been on your bullpen for a while though. Mm. Because Charlie Clips does not care about y'all gonna right. keep doing this just like no. we did with Rose, and he gonna fuck around and be good this time, and make people no. forget. He give you a good one every three to four. Like, like, it does, it's fucked does. up, but it's that's the what truth. I like, mm -hmm. And it works. Mm -hmm. And it's it nasty business, mm -hmm. but it's the business that he's in, and he's just been he's been succeeding at it. So I don't know. Trez is one of those where I feel like if he no. really don't these other battles, you've had guys like A Ward, you know, coming off of uh, a, a couple battles himself and stuff. Yo, Trez is gonna be like really caring about this and not that clips i don't know as duchess said if clips will care but trez could really like annihilate clips if he's on bullshit like not like bog the footage down like really get fucked up to the point that we're still praising trez and that's never the position you want to be in as a battle rapper is just getting whooped you know what i'm saying Eclipse, he, he having some nasty battles but for the most part he avoids like a straight just like whooping you know what i'm saying to the masses so he better come like clipped up man because chef hey. Trez could could body charlie clips if it's anything close to what we've seen the past couple performances i got i got trez to one edge yeah but chef trez does i mean charlie clips does not care about battle rap anyway i do i do remember times where clips ones definitely bounced back and got like a, a either a, had a good performance or even won the battle like i remember him well, after he uh because he did the, had the situation with av and um the situation with av and situation with briz back to back and then they announced that he had twerk at the top of the year in 2019 i'm like oh he's about to get annihilated and sure enough you know it's a debatable yeah. battle and so who did I he do have before luke castro man uh, before Luke Castro, we had a good year actually. Twenty twenty one, he had Big K, he had B dot. That's who it was. It was B dot. He had B dot, Big K. Right. And I thought he, he lost to B dot. I ain't gonna hold you. That battle is always interesting, right? Because you have to. That second round is like very, very like, uh man. But yeah, no. Like there are times where he he does bounce back and gives us give us a good performance, but. Yeah, and it's rolling the dice. He now he's now he's now the epitome of the if factor. I know it was twerk at one point in time, but like now it's really like clips right now of the it factor. He's if a black guy. You know what I'm saying? Oh right. Oh, right. Yeah, he is. oh man. <laughs> I'm thinking because what's that? That gives him two weeks from that to that's yeah. that's not And then he got a battle right out. That's what I'm saying. He got a battle two weeks after that, and then two weeks after that. Clips does outside not care outside. About battle rap. He's you know, battle outside, this year. He's battled Danny, Jazz, Rosenberg. He battled Scotty. He battled Bankhead on Black Ice. He just battled A Ward. Um, he has like three other battles, three or four other battles lined up too. So mm. he has four more battles booked in the next six weeks. Yeah. Charlie Clips does not care about battle rap, y'all. Let's talk about somebody else now. Charlie. Um, for champion I ain't gonna lie, we we talking uh, all this Black, shit, don't, but just don't like last year, he's Jay gonna Black, get a mention, please. man. I'm gonna be real. There's not that many people even qualify with the with these four battles right now. And at the end of the day, I guarantee that you hurt. that you're gonna hear somebody mention clips. I didn't expect to hear clips last year. You know what I'm saying? But and, and we look at that list, Charlie Clips is on there. You know what I'm saying? So it's I would not be surprised. We talking all this if end up if it ends up Chef 
ends up being good with the Rosenberg battle being good. And then the rest of them are, are duds, but they're like half fake debatable. All of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? Clips is year on paper. It happens every time. It's not right, but it happens every time. So. Charlie Clips does not care about battle rap. I'm concerned about it. I'm how you guys feel about that? In the transition I, line, go ahead. How you guys feel about Forty and John John? That seemed like that seemed to came out of left field a little bit because I didn't even see John that coming. Like, email, right? Yeah, right. yeah but I'm saying, who else? Who else he battled? Uh, as a, as a, oh, no, that was a jump in. My bad. That was a jump in. Yeah, fair, right? Like that was like, yeah. when he jumped in. But I don't know. I don't remember him. Like, I can't because even in grind time, he didn't battle a lady. I can't remember the time he battled a lady. Yeah, so yeah, battling a lady. I ain't gonna lie. I I got forty with the clear forty. 40 yeah, with about say, I got 40 y'all. crystal clear. I got no 40 cap. clear. Hold on. Let me tell you something. I got 40 here. crystal clear. What? And I'm Yo, taking 40 bars. versus men ain't nothing. 40 to play bars. With. That ain't, that's not, that's Yo, a whole listen. different level of battle. Man. Clear. First of all, hold on, hold on, hold on. 40 crystal. bars will crucify you motherfuckers if, if that nigga heard you saying that John John is battling a lady for the first time. Fred that man is a grown ass man, please. Respectfully. We gotta throw it. We gotta throw it out. It's definitely his first time right. battling a female, and I got I got forty with the with the clear W. Salute to John John though, but yeah, he know what it is. I mean, 40's last three rounder versus a man was Will, which I was overly impressed with. I, I have forty winning that battle. I thought that was a great performance, and I'm really not liking what I'm seeing from John John recently. I don't want to say that's just who he is or any means by that, but we got to judge off of what we've seen our uh, 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 both battlers do. You know what I'm saying? Dutch, your background kind of crazy, dog. But nah, I think with with John John recently, I'm not going. And, and some of these battles are close to the public, so I'm not just going to make it like oh he's been losing, losing. But him and Ace going back to then, that was debatable. Then you got the two SM joints with Ill Will and Surf. That wasn't very good. I had him pretty clearly losing to Trez. I see a few people got him on the playback, but I I, I personally like that performance like that. And then him and T Top was. T- it wasn't good. Not good. Nobody won that battle. Won. Nobody so I'm won seeing that. a lot. This, that's about five in a row versus pretty good levels of performers. Now you get your first lady battle ever. We saw. I'm not. It's not going to go like Rose. Respectfully, I feel like John John a little bit more put together of a battle rapper. He won't have that type of approach. But it's it's a new challenge as opposed to Forty, who's incredible versus men. Like even for most of her, uh, you know, slip ups and, and the times that she does have her her dips. That's not usually these men battles. Her record, you know, the serves, the ill wills. You know, I could go on and on. I just think it's a good matchup for forty, mm-hmm. and I think she writes a lot better than John John right now. I think it's always been that way, but like Talk a about lot, it. lot better right now. Forty needs a little get back after the little Yoshi situation. You know, what I'm saying it wasn't the best look, no matter how you call it. I got forty clear, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Jay Schmo kind of stole my whole little sentiments, man. I ain't mean to. I know you. I know you. Who you got, Black? Well, we got, we got Farrah pulling up. Uh, can we bring Farrah up? Farrah, yeah. yeah, you can bring up Farrah. I just wanted to say real quick. Um, I I also have forty winning the battle. Um, but I also like the JC and Clone matchup. Clone is also a person that's been getting like a, a decent amount of plays this year. He got oh, the ad. I think him and Next was okay. Like uh, JC too. I, I'm, I'm trying to remember the rest of his resume. He just like, had he's, trash. He's been getting some decent night, night. So. He just had trash, right? Just had trash or whatever. Him and Ab was fine. I got JC and Clone. Right. Right. I had Ab winning clear, but it was a yeah. Clone been holding it down for his side yeah. of the footage. I will say because I'm this is how I view battle rap. So I'm a bit of a stickler. Eventually, I'd like to see the W's follow through a little. You know what I'm saying? Like, respect, it was a decent next battle, kind of had next clear. Versus Av, I ain't going to get at him because he really held it down. But Av has been great this year. You know what I'm saying? That's a tough matchup. But versus, might not even be the one versus JC, but it's good to have all this resume. It's good to have good footage. But I'd like to see if he can make one of these debatable or something like that. I think it would show some real growth on the side of Clone, especially after the Danny win last year. Maybe you mess around, get a debatable with JC. We can start viewing you differently because the results st- still got to be there. You can have good footage, but you need them Ws eventually. Agreed. Oh, we doing bullpen predictions. Um, I got John John clear. I ain't gonna lie. Hater. You break that down. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet, champ? How much do you want to bet? I'm a broke house dude. I got enough for you, brother. But oh, um, okay. Say less. Yeah. But besides that, I mean, forty is good. It's just I I watched her and she. That was 
bad on both sides. Watch T Top um, and John John. And it was bad on both sides too. I mean, it, it's it's choosing. You watch T Top L well. Well, sir. Hello. You mean you, when when did T Top get brung? No, I was you mentioned her bad battle. I just I don't I think both of them had some rough footage recently. That's why I was just trying to point out both yeah. sides. No, 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 I was talking. Oh, no, I was talking about Dutch. He was talking about T Top and Ill Will and all that. But no, no I said T Top and John John and T and and John John and Ill Will. Did you watch? Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 could talk about that, but then you gotta mention Forty and Yoshi. I mean, they both had some bad footage recently. So mm-hmm. it's choosing the lesser of two evils. I just feel like John John is gonna be better yeah. in this battle. I mean, Forty is cool. I mean, she she just ain't been. Ooh, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, she been cool. I mean, the the ill will battle. Was I think it's the battle, Forty Ball you talking that, about, my nigga. Cool. It's Forty Ball. She says she's. John John barely cares about battle rap. Damn. Yo, that shit. The, the, the clip like shit is cool. But please don't do this for every battle uh-huh. rapper. Nonsense. Dutch, over. That's crazy. Come on, Dutch. Come on, and, it's, and, and so does she sometimes. Like, but sometimes they both don't care about battle rap. Don't you really believe that? No, I don't think she, I don't think she care about battling these females anymore. I think that forty hey, bars steps up to the plate. I think that forty bars steps up to the plate. Hey, baby, I, th- I feel that she um steps up to the plate when when it comes to the when it comes to you know battling these dudes. But as far as battling these these females, I feel like she she you know what I mean she might feel like she above this now. She's done it for for over a decade. She's she got a couple the, of shots left. Though. She's beating the dog smoke out, right. out, out of most. And of she wants them. She has she and, has female battles that she's actually looking forward to having. So I didn't say that like she that doesn't. Nice. I didn't say she doesn't. I just said I don't think she gets up for these female battles anymore because I don't think she feels challenged by that. And sometimes, as a writer, as a performer, you got to feel challenged in what you're Dutch, doing. You really believe John John doesn't care about battle rap anymore? You believe that? I think he cares more, but I think at this point in time, he's probably more interested in pushing his 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 league and artists and getting them to 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 their next level in the game, as opposed to him being on stage and actually rapping. I don't think his heart is into it anymore. Okay, that, that's ridiculous. Uh, real quick, way. that's yeah, just that's fucking. Not, that, that's, that's, how is that not, ridiculous? I'm trying to revive that. How is that, how that, is that ridiculous? Like, how do you how gauge that? Do that? How do you gauge that? What, what how do you gauge I think he's in a slump. Like I think performance wise, he's what in a slump. But just because you, you on, I don't bro. like his performances, doesn't mean that you question. Oh, does does he not want to do battle rap anymore? Like that's craziness. Like we can acknowledge his flaws. You and me will agree on that. We'll agree on a lot of that, but not on that though. That's extreme. How is that different? How is that different? But when you look, at, listen, it to me, it don't look like he like like he, he put much into this no more. It don't. Ace, I mean, ill will surf. He's been bad T-top. versus Ace though. Like, like, like I'm giving him a critique for losing, are, but you acting like he wasn't he good. Show up or don't care. It's freestyle. That's he crazy. Was bad. Like, bad ace, my okay. All right. Cool. 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 Uh, listen, I, I said what I said. I, don't, I listen. I don't. I don't particularly care how anybody else feels about it. I'm telling y'all how I feel about it. I don't feel like he's putting much into it anymore. He's giving us great. He's giving us great bullpen cards, but he's not good when he gets on the stage. Sheesh. Uh, Sheesh. yeah, I wanted to shift because I, I kind of know he's going to take things far left. How you guys? How you guys, how you guys feel about the um? How you feel about uh J four hundred's card? Like the the jersey card? I think the jersey card is also dope too. Yes, all right. right. I, I, got 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 home, I got Holmes two one over eight. I have no interest in Danny Myers yeah, no soul. I'm sorry. I just not even a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Why, well, why yeah. don't y'all want to see two battle rap legends? Why did I want to see that? Jay Ford Y'all remember that? Like that. Hey, hey, y'all remember y'all remember that meme off remember the Titans? He said football's fun, right? No, it's not fun anymore. Not even a little bit. Yeah, no. O solo versus Danny is something I don't need yeah. or like. No disrespect to old Solo. No disrespect to Danny, but Danny, your mom's about? got no this, place this, to stay. This is what he does, man. You stay with her. Like I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. <laughs> but that's another story. You know, what I he do does. think he's a terrorist. <laughs> but but I do think that Av Av and J four hundred is going to be a, a dope battle. I do think that um, I think that A Ward and Holmes is going to be another dope battle, man. Holmes he has a and Holmes he was just on Who champion. So he seems that he it seems like he has the you know a similar approach or even if not similar, but he he knows exactly how to approach the battle with A Ward. Um, 
And I'm and I'll be interested for the dialogue because I think this is gonna be one of the few times that like because I think when Holmesy battled Saga in the tournament, right? Saga didn't really have a, you know what I'm saying? He was trying to bounce back after the Mike P situation. And he he didn't really have no game plan in terms of like how to how to counteract what Holmesy brought, right? And then Holmesy battled Loso in the one rounder band situation, whatever. Again, I think there was another situation where like Loso wasn't preparing for that either. But I think A War being the strategist that he is, is going to have something to uh, something uh, uh, his own dialogue that he's going to bring to the battle, and it's going to make for a, 